Hi, my name is Yusuf. I'm seven years old, and my question is, why does the moon have craters? Hi, my name is Sanjay Limaye. I'm a scientist at the Space Science and Engineering Center at the University of Wisconsin in Madison. So the moon has craters because uh, it gets hit by objects, small pieces of rocks that uh, come from outer space. Uh, these are pieces of uh, asteroids, comets that are flying around in the solar system. When they hit the surface, there's an impact. So that's one reason uh, the moon has craters. Another reason is that the uh, moon in its past did have volcanoes and volcanoes can create uh, craters. The moon has no atmosphere and so even a tiny rock uh, will uh, create a crater and in fact you can detect recent craters. Now that we have such wonderful high resolution pictures of the moon, you can detect uh, craters formed in the last 10-20 years. Let me explain or show you some examples of the craters. The first one I'm going to show you is a very famous uh, crater called Tycho and here's a picture from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter and you can see there's a a nice circular ring and this is a top-down view so what we cannot see is that inside of that ring the floor is slightly depressed and the outer ring is actually the rim of the crater and right at the center you see a little uh, uh, shadowed region and that is called the central peak or an impact peak and if we see that structure in the center of a crater that's a telltale sign that it's an impact crater and there's a reason for it because uh, what happens is that when a uh, rock from outer space hits the surface it has so much energy that it actually liquefies the surface and it ejects some of the material out into space and on the moon because there is no atmosphere it just flies out and it lands uh, some distance away from the location some of that material uh, that gets liquefied first gets depressed from the energy or the force and then it rises up uh, because it cannot be compressed uh, beyond a certain limit. When it rises up, it cools quickly and it leaves behind the central peak. The other way you can form uh, craters on the moon is uh, through a volcano, like I said. That's an ancient volcano on the moon. It's also around because the volcano erupts and then basically throws out debris from uh, the erupting point and then that falls some distance away. So it's not always easy to tell a volcanic crater from an impact crater and sometimes it can be confusing because you could argue that okay that looks like an impact peak but that peak was formed in the floor of the crater much later by another impact. 